Right, Land Rover Defender, roof and tenor here. Now, um, we've got the Expedition roof rack, so we're not very likely to damage the antenna, but we did at the Gaiden show see someone who bashed his head. He must have gone in a multi-story car park or under one of those beams at a car park, and he, he, he damaged the aerial. So I had a look for him on the parts catalogue, and I'll put a little picture on the screen now, and you can buy the cover. Now, there are two types of aerial. Oh, my drill. See, ours hasn't got the camera built in. But there was another type, and I have a sample here, and you can see it's got the camera built in. So this is the clear view, rear view camera. Oh, I stop now, right. Um, that gives you the rear view mirror. It's not a mirror, it's a screen. So if you've got this one, it's quite expensive. Now, we thought, brilliant, they do a cover that covers it. So if you bang your head, you don't have to replace all the electronics because it's got some it's got one, two, three, four antennas in here for your your um your GPS, your antennas and all sorts of stuff going on in there. Gosh, there's another one, your phone as well. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five antennas. Oh no, this one will probably be the camera. So there's four antennas and the camera output. So that's all brilliant. But when you look at it, the the cover doesn't cover the top bit. Look, it, it's more of a side cover because you can see the actual top cover is this black plastic bit which is clipped on here. So unfortunately Land Rover do not supply that. Now this aerial is made by Molex. Ooh, zoom in on the little, can you see that little label there, okay. So yep. Molex, I did contact Molex and they said um, we'd have to contact Land Rover if we wanted them to stop this. So I don't know if Land Rover is listening but if you could stop that bit it would help people repair their cars. Um, let us know, we'll happily stop that and do the video. So you can see, so this video now we're gonna show you. So, so we wanted to explain the fact that this cover doesn't cover anything. It doesn't cover the most likely bit you're gonna bash, which is unfortunate, but if you've damaged this, you can buy these, which is good. Right, okay. Now, the aerial, as you can see, is mounted with two bolts here, the two nuts. And I wanted to show you on the Defender. Now this aerial is the same on, the new Evoke, the Evoke 2 we call it, the new facelift Discovery Sport, and the Defender. So that's what we reckon. So, now your car might be slightly different, but for those of you with Defenders, there is a panel here, you need to pull this down, and it's pretty fierce, isn't it, Kate? Yeah. It's got these spring clips here. Now we've snapped one off here, look. You can see that. And it's also got these, there's some little metal clips here on this edge and they grip on to these little bits here and they, they hang on for dear life. Um, so once you've pulled that down, if I get Tim's light here and I can shine it up in there, can you see on the camera there, Kate? Just about. Yeah, you can see there's some nuts there on a plate and a load of connections. You can unplug that, disconnect the, the wires and undo those nuts and you can change your arrow. It's not too bad a job, you can do it yourself. Um, and possibly we'll even look at, I wonder if the wire's in there for the, for the camera, Kate. I wonder if, have they left me the wire for the camera? Right, so I've had a look under there and I can't see that they've left me a spare connector. So upgrading's gonna be a little trickier. Uh, now look, where I pulled this down here, it looks like there is a little sort of pad. We may have to, let me just get, oh, there you go. Look, you twist that and it comes out and then you put that back in and then that should press back up and stay back up there. There you go, look at that. Um, right, so where are we, where are we? So there we go, so that's the roof antenna. Now what we may well make is a cover that covers everything. So if you do bash your head um, on this, we might make a cover and you could put it on as a protective cover um, that just goes over everything. Um, that's probably the easier way of doing it. Because the other thing was, we did try to take this off and I didn't want to break it because we got this up for sale. Um, but it's quite tricky to undo these all at the same time. Ah, that's what I was gonna do. So I was gonna show you how to change this. I knew there was something else, Kate. All right. right, so when you put this on, it literally goes on this end first, and then there's this little sort of hook at the back. And then it just goes, there you go, and that clips on. And then to remove it, you need to get yourself, so if you've got one of these damaged, you gotta sort of go in here. 
give it a bit of a wiggle. There you go. And that starts to pop off. And then I, I did have you know, one of the sides is caught as well. Mm -hmm. okay, I think there's a clip towards the back here. There you go. It's a clip at the back there and there. So you've got sort of three clips. One, two, three. And then you can swap the other one over. So there we go. There's a little sort of roof antenna aerial camera video thing. Good luck with that.